we are asked to evaluate the given expressions and answer in degrees and radians. Notice all the expressions involve the inverse cosine function or arc cosine function, which for review has a domain or possible inputs of all the possible cosine function values from negative one to positive one, and the range or possible outputs are from zero to pi radians or from zero to 180 degrees, which means in standard position the output must be in this interval here or from zero to pi radians or from zero to 180 degrees. And since cosine theta is equal to x on the unit circle, we will be looking for x coordinates on the unit circle to simplify the given expressions. We first have inverse cosine of negative square root three divided by two, which means we are looking for an angle in this interval that has a cosine function value of negative square root three divided by two. Notice this point on the unit circle has an x coordinate of negative square root three divided by two, which means the angle we are looking for must intersect the unit circle at this point and therefore in a standard position, the angle we are looking for is this angle here, which is 150 degrees or 5 6 pi radians. When 150 degrees or 5 6 pi radians is in the range of inverse cosine and has a cosine function value of negative square root of 3 divided by 2. Next we have inverse cosine of negative one. So now we look for an x coordinate of negative one on the unit circle, which is this point here. The terminal side of the angle we are looking for must intersect the unit circle at this point in standard position. The angle we are looking for is 180 degrees or pi radians. 180 degrees or pi radians is in the range of the inverse cosine function and has a cosine function value of negative one. Next we have inverse cosine of square root two divided by two. Because the cosine function value is positive, we know the point will be in the first quadrant. Here's the point we are looking for, where the x coordinate is square root two divided by two, which means the terminal side of the angle must intersect the unit circle at this point in standard position the angle we are looking for is 45 degrees, or in radians, pi over four radians, or one fourth pi radians. Forty-five degrees, or one fourth pi radians, is in the range of the inverse cosine function and has a cosine function value of square root two divided by two. And then finally we have inverse cosine of one half. Here is the point on the unit circle where the x coordinate is positive one half. The terminal side of the angle must be this ray here. In standard position, the angle we are looking for is 60 degrees, or in radians, pi over three radians, or one third pi radians. This is the angle in the range of the inverse cosine function that has a cosine function value of one half. I hope you found this helpful.